Hey guys, what's up? Wow, it's not even the Friday week, long weekend, but wish me luck on reviewing the Once Upon a Time China series this weekend for Labor Day week. Meanwhile, this is one of the movies where I'm getting late. It's been a long time I saw this. When I went to Wikipedia, I just found this one now. Last Hero in China. I think it was known as Evil Cult when I saw it, I'm not sure. But this came out in 1993, pretty much the same time the original Once Upon a Time in China came. And this actually had Jet Li playing the Wang Fei Hung character in this movie, by the way. And um, then it, this has nothing to say with the Once Upon a Time Chinese series, this Wang Fei Hung, even though Jet Li plays the character in this movie. Um, this Wang Fei Hung played by Jet Li, last hero in China, now Once Upon a Time China origin, by the way. Let's, let's uh, make sure of that. Um, he um, had a hard time paying rent. They, they, um, these people like Jack of his rent. So his, um, his students' final place with Jet Li and Ho, Ho Chi Lam School, the one for, one for Hunger to move to. And they found out that the Ho Chi Lam, they moved to, was right next to a bobble, you know. And they're like, oh, but we can't, we can't stay here, you know. Um, but at the same time, we got a conspiracy, you know, like around the area when the, one of the head police chief, I would say, and still with this monk where they kidnap women, these people monk kidnap women like for prostitution and this they sell them in South Asia. Um to fast forward so this like it's like the movie's like one hour and forty five minutes, it's pretty close to two hours. But let me just say that actually this movie is really fucking good guys. But the thing is the movie is like half action but mostly a lot of comedy in it. But this is one of those moments when when it comes to Hong Kong cinema, like it could be a present age or a past age martial arts movies, I usually don't like comedy in it. I usually like straight up seriousness stuff, you know, you know what I'm saying? Or a little bit of comedy at least, that's fine, but this movie has heavy comedy, heavy action, but the, what's amazing about this, and let me say it again, is how balanced it is, like between the comedy and acting, it's very well balanced. The comedy is not really annoying, you know what I'm saying? So, so you will enjoy the comedy of this movie while enjoying the action, you understand guys? So you will not be disappointed in it. Um, you got some students that like that like like to party, have fun with the ladies, you know, talk to the girls, party around, while they get some get themselves into trouble. You know, and Jet Li's like Jet Li's kept out the Porsche one for fit one for hung guy. Um, trying to strain out like, come on, grow up guys, pretty much like. And um while they got these other two characters, this the father and the daughter knows what's going on with the perverted monk kidnapping women to sell for prostitution and they saw the government official like the security police chief like teaming up with the other perverted monk to kidnap women you know and it was like experiencing the temple to hide the women and while the one of Jetly the two Jetly students and the master of the bottle team up to stop stop what's going on and then get these kept to find out what's going on he he has to go to the temple, help save his friends, and fight the evil monk. And what I like about this, what the villain, well, the villain in the movie is actually Gordon Liu's character. And Gordon Liu is a popular most artist. He plays like the monk like. I'm not sure if he plays the head official, because the the two characters, the monk and the official, the head security official, police chief, they look pretty much like the same guy with the same face. I don't know if he took a double role or not, but all in all, I mean, his, I think Golden Lou's kind of more of the monk, but like, the martial arts fight scene between Golden Lou and Jet Li is really fucking good too, by the way. And not only that, it was amazing how they have character development in this um, movie, you know, it's not like the movie was mainly focused on Jet Li's character all the time, you know. You know, even though he's like the lead hero, but you have like the, the daughter and the dad trying to uncover the conspiracy. You got the guy who owned the bar brothel, you got the hookers. You know, you got the two bubbling students and other Jet Li students also. So you got like a well character development where other characters can have the ch chance to shine. You know, it was pretty cool. You don't really see that too much in Hong Kong movies these days. I would say in my opinion. I mean, there, there are martial movies that does do it, but I don't I don't see it as much like this one did. You know, where you can have something like this, the heart with uh, not the action and comedy balance it out together, like all mixed in. Which is like to me very rare, you know. To be well accomplished like this, but anyway, um, let me try and fast forward. Um, while 
the Japanese students, Wang Chenghao students are going to court, you know, about, hey, you raid this temple. But the reason why they raid the temple was because they were doing shady business with kidnapping women, but of course the monks aligned with the monk and head security is protecting them because it's part of the plot. So they have, to, they have this contest when they had to do a dragon dance, dance and it was the centipede and Wang Fei Hong students lost against the centipede um, dance um, puppet scene and then they had to they had to give up they had to give up the portion lamb to the head official and then he had to go off and get his him in back and then he saw the centipede like a little you would centipede when he was walking around the farm like and the rooster, like the little rooster, ate the milkpeed animal. You know, yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on in this movie, a little bit. It's like a lot of drama talking too. You know, with the horror. Excuse me, he was saying horror. Oh, I'm sorry. I just watched so many horror movies. I'm mixing shit in. I'm, I apologize, guys. I mean, there's drama mixing with the action and comedy, by the way. But it was weird that how Jet Li comes back, his comeback. You know, when he was training to get back at the head official and and stop. Stop his evil plot and rest the women, you know, pretty much. As they come back doing the doing the face the milk peak puppet dance again, and um, he gently came back and went the rooster outfit because he saw the rooster eat, eating the milk peak. So he just was a rooster with two shields, the, the head piece and the iron claw. He fought the milk peak and defeated it. One of the students were fighting too. Um, and they fight against the head official, and all in all, the scenes were really good. Um, they, Jet, Li's, Jet Li's character and his students defeat the fit head official and his army, like, and um, pretty much it got the school back and everything was at peace. You know, pretty much happy end moment. Um, all in all, this movie was the last time in China. Um, please check it out. Um, again, like I said, it does have heavy comedy, but heavy action to mix with the martial arts. The martial arts is really fucked up, you'd be surprised, you know, it's been a long time I saw this movie, I, I think I only saw this movie one time, but, damn, it's just, it's good to recap, I'm glad I caught up with it again, anyway, um, this is gonna be the start of it, of my, what's the time, chapter one, Fei Hong series, of Jet Li's character, Jet Li's playing the role, so catch my other uh, what's the time, China, this weekend, series this weekend, I guarantee all of them are gonna be reviewed, one, two, three, even the Vincent's hour for four or five, and of course, most of the time China in America, which I only saw twice, and I've been a long time too, so it's good to refresh in myself, you know. Um, he's, and one more thing, remember, this is nothing to do with the most of the time China series, but so let's, let's make sure. Peace, guys. See you.